Hey, this is JR, aka The Tourist. Welcome to another hotel impression. I'm back in Bali, my second trip to the island since starting the channel. Today, I'm in Nusa Dua, where I'll be walking you through the Grand Hyatt Bali. I think you'll enjoy this one. The Grand Hyatt sits on one of the better stretches of beach, and the grounds of the resort are really beautiful. But, Grand Hyatt is supposed to be a premium brand, so you may be wondering if this place is posh enough for you. Stick around, we'll talk about it. And if you find yourself enjoying the video, do click the like button. Welcome to the Grand Hyatt Bali. Let's go in and have a look around. But do remember, this is not a review, it's merely my impression of the property. Nusadu is located on the eastern shore of Bali's southern peninsula. The Grand Hyatt is a short walk to the Bali Collection Mall which may be the closest thing to a central landmark in Nusa Dua. It's a sleepy kind of place, known mostly for its five-star resorts. Technically, the Grand Hyatt is one of Hyatt's luxury brands, putting it in the same category as the Park Hyatt, the Alila, and the Andaz. In practice, I would put those three brands at a tier higher. Of course, individual hotels will vary, sometimes widely. This particular Grand Hyatt strikes me as more of a premium property than a luxury one, and that's not a slight. But it wouldn't be fair to compare the Grand Hyatt to the St. Regis or the Ritz-Carlton properties in New Sadua. And the Andaz, located a bit north up in Sonora, goes for rates two to three times higher. For the price, the Grand Hyatt is a solid option. I'll come back to price in a moment. But first, let's have a look at the reception area. My check-in was smooth, the service friendly and attentive, but not the kind of personalized, high-touch service you would expect in a true luxury property. Case in point, you'll have to help yourself to a welcome drink. I had a short wait for my room when I arrived. If that happens to you, you can grab a drink at the Veranda Lounge and Bar, one of several food and beverage outlets on the property. Or you can simply have a look around and start getting familiar with the resort. I'll give you a few moments for that before heading to the room. The resort has approximately 600 rooms and suites located across four villages, north, east, south, and west. There are also villas scattered around the property closer to the beach. My room is in the north village. I booked a king bed room, the entry level room category. I think I was upgraded to a garden view room, though I'm not exactly sure the difference. I didn't notice any rooms that looked out onto a parking lot or anything like that. Welcome to room 1340. My first impression is that the room is quite plain looking. The design matches the overall Balinese design of the rest of the property, but don't expect to be blown away. The bed is comfortable, there's a little nook for relaxing and a small balcony overlooking one of the pools. One thing I can say about the Grand Hyde is that there are no shortage of pools. A quick perusal of the property map shows at least six. The mini bar is barely there, featuring instant coffee and some tea. I would call the bathroom standard, but comfortable enough, which is the overall theme of the room.
Now that you've seen the room, let's have a stroll around the grounds. The Grand Hyatt sits on 40 acres of land. As I mentioned, there are over 600 rooms and villas. This is a large hotel, though it can feel quite intimate, thanks in part to the lush and verdant landscaping. Walking from the reception area to the beach, you'll begin passing the pool areas. First comes the river pool with its water slide, which then flows into the larger lagoon pool. Are you enjoying this look inside the property? If so, then consider subscribing to the channel. Post hotel impressions and destination guides from around Southeast Asia and from around the world. And I'm just getting started. Join me. We'll tour the world together. I'll shut up for a moment and let you enjoy the views. Next to the lagoon pool, you'll find the pool bar at Salsa Verde Restaurant, an Italian restaurant and also one of the places where breakfast is served. I was a bit under the weather during my stay and skipped breakfast, but I did manage to get dinner here at Salsa Verde. Overall, I would say the food is good to very good, but not exceptional. Good to very good is a good way to characterize my stay at the Grand Hyatt. As I said up front, this is not a review, but I do want to give you some idea of whether this resort might be the place for you on your next visit to Bali. To that end, I give you the tourist do's and don'ts. Do stay at the Grand Hyde if you want a good value, full service resort at a competitive price. If you want to be in Nusa Dua, on the beach, close to the Bali collection, or if you're a big fan or a status member of Hyatt's rewards program. However, if you want something that's more obviously luxury, there are other options in Nusa Dua at higher price points. Likewise, if you want to be in a livelier part of Bali, you might consider the other side of the island in Kuta or Sevignac. Or, if your loyalty is to one of the other brands, you can find Hilton, Marriott, and Kempinski properties all right here in Nusa Dua. The Grand Hyatt's Nusa Dua location means that it sits on one of Bali's better stretches of beach, both from the perspective of the view and from the quality of the beach itself. The truth about Bali's beaches is that not all of them are great for sunbathing and swimming. Coming off the beach, we can see some of the property's villas. One day I'll come back and check those out. For now, let's have a last look around the property, including the remaining restaurants and also the gym. As I mentioned, there are several fruit and beverage outlets on the property, and we've already seen a few. There is also the Garden Cafe, featuring a mix of local and international cuisine, Nampu for Japanese, and Lila Sita, a sports pub. The 
gym is right down here next to Lila Sita. Thanks for watching until the end. If you've enjoyed what you've seen, then please hit the like button to help the video spread and consider subscribing to the channel so you can see where we go next. Stay tuned for more.